So, I, um, don't know much in this world, and why would I want to, when there's so much evil? There is. It, it's just rampant. Uh, how many abusers there are, and how they get away with doing whatever they want. And the reason for that is, you know, they have resources. Like, okay, the main thing is they believe in themselves. So all of these insane, whatever the hell you want to call them, they're just totally insane. Delusional, denying, extremely abusive people. They actually believe in themselves. And that's the problem. Because this world, the law of attraction, it, how is that even, it's not even there. I, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, to know that these extremely evil entities get to do whatever they want. And they get away with it. They're not punished at all. There is no karma for them. They do whatever they want, however they want. And it's just wrong. I mean, sometimes, sometimes they have a down day. Sometimes they might get reprimanded. Like, maybe if they did, like, a whole bunch of wrong. Okay, there's this maniac I knew in 2017. Alright, he totally was a scammer and whatever. Um, stole kids $400 two months in a row and did a lot of damage. Okay. And maybe for about a month didn't have anyone to talk to. And that's because of his actions. I mean, he barely got punished for what he really did in 2017. Yeah, I, I'm... I just noticed all these insane abusers in total denial about every... If you abuse someone, you know, for years and years and years, and... There's no... They don't have to face the consequences to all the damage that they targeted their victim with. They created their victim's hell. The victim has nothing to do with all the hell that they were able to create in their... And how these people even um, exist, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're total idiots. You know, like... Now, with my abuse, right, and I can just go with my dead husband since that's safe. I mean, I, I'm a victim in my majority of my life. So, like, you could easily say, like, I'm 53. So, for 50 years, I was a victim, okay? I mean, like, seriously. Like, I didn't love myself till I was 37, so that... And that was because of being around people who, uh, being around haters. My haters hated me, you know? I, you know, I, I, like, it doesn't pay to be good in this world. It really doesn't. I never got anything for it. I never got any help. This world's totally insane. That I, I, and then to learn all the different kinds of demonic angels. I don't even know, you know, oh my god, really? <laughs> okay, you know, that doesn't help me out. To, to know more evil in this world. So, all the fallen angels, I mean, like, I don't know, is there any good angels? <laughs> like, 
doesn't seem like in my world hey I had so many abusers oh my god it's like oh well maybe the angels the fallen angels are helping these maniacs all, all the my dead husband yeah sidelines in the spiritual world like oh the, there's so m much evil everywhere uh, it's just disgusting to me you know the people should be able to take care of the problem I mean one of the it's just sad to see people being taken advantage of. Like, some asshole came up with um, a, a zombie, the new zombie drug. It has a animal something in it, fentanyl, heroin, probably doesn't have any heroin in it. Oh, why the... So these people are desperate on the streets. Well, my God, just give them God's herb. You know, like, you know, which is better than alcohol, right? Like, you know, like, I, or God's cocaine, or the, the original, you know, cocaine leaf to chew on. I, you know, you can't do anything. i are like, oh my God, you know, you're doing this drug, like, actually a person, like, a billionaire, like Elon Musk, could walk into the town where all the people are dying from their zombie drug. I just like do an experiment. Okay, I got some. I drove to. I, uh. My jet went to Columbia and I picked up all the cocaine leaves. And I just. Instead of doing your fucking zombie drug, here you go. Here's a fucking experiment for you. Eat the cocaine leaves. And here's some marijuana. There you go, it doesn't have any fentanyl or embalming fluid in it. Here you go, let's, let's do an experiment to see if you get, to get a little better. I, you know, I, that's really sad. So those people are dead. But, you, I mean, they're, they're limbs, they can't even walk. So, I mean, they're the ones who destroyed themselves, but, like, if anyone would care, you know, they they could possibly be helped out. I mean, uh, that's like an almost like, wow, you already destroyed your body. All right, I don't know how you can touch. But you, I mean, there's so much wrong. And I look at the people in Ohio. I mean, East Palestine. That's outrageous. They don't even do the zombie drug to be tortured to die. Look at their situation. Look at that situation. Coughing up blood. Oh, okay, you're... Instead of your town being blown up to pieces, you're going to be tortured and be suffering for, I don't know, maybe two months before you die. So you'll be coughing up blood every day, your whole body will be aching, you know. Really, really bad headaches, migraine headaches, just because you... you Breathe in, drank some toxins. I, yeah, it's, it's in the air. It's just really sad. And those people don't do the, didn't choose to do the death drug. Yeah, I mean, so there's the people that did the death drug. I mean, obviously they hate themselves. I mean. I don't know, there's not too many shelters, and that's really sad. Why, why aren't there 24-7 shelters in all of America? Maybe, I don't, who knows? Maybe half of those people that did the horrifying drug, maybe they, uh, they wouldn't have done that. They would have chose to, okay, here's a 24-7 shelter. And wow, they're giving me ten dollars a day, which is nothing. And to clean up, to give me a little job, they're giving me a little bit of money, and I get food stamps. So they'd be able to, um, you know, um, survive and kind of, you know, uh, you know, a lot better than what the hell happened to them. Um, Whatever.
Uh, nothing's taken care of at all. Wait. Uh, real tragedy. So, all I'm saying, I want to get back to my dead husband, since I'm allowed to talk about him and none of my other abusers. Okay, what I noticed was um, one of his parents was vicious to him. So, my dead husband, when he was alive, he absolutely hated himself. He took all, he mirrored all of his hates onto me. Attach all of his hate onto me. Because he could. Because he got close to me. In my little atmosphere. My little radius. Uh, basically was stole my soul by draining me to death every day with all his hell. That he created into my life. So he had a very, very extremely abusive parent. His dad. He took out his, all his dad's shit on me. Being emotionally... He was emotionally stunted. Okay. And he took out all his temper tantrums on me. A spoiled little brat. Never ever grew up. Never ever respected anyone in his life. You know, like... How the hell do you even make it to 50 years old without somebody, like... Fucking killing you on the street because you're such a fucking asshole. I mean, yeah, like, that's reality. <laughs> that's with all my abusers. Yeah, they're all fucking assholes. And, um. Maybe I should have been like Steve Wilkos. <laughs> they're all scum of the earth. Don't want to. Don't want to offend anyone who does not use the F word, but. Everything is so messed up in this world. I mean, oh my god, you know, like, and it was always bad. There's too much that's hidden that you don't know about. It's always been bad. But now, you know, thing, you know, now you get to see things, and, and I mean, now it's really, really bad. You know, I mean, three derailments. One in Arizona, one in Texas, and one in Ohio. And all in, like, a week's time. And, and, like, at least a two-week time period. In the United States, bad chemicals. That's right. I mean, that's disgusting. Along with, you know, I mean, you know, people hate themselves. I don't know. Maybe give them a good drug. And, and maybe they won't hate themselves. I mean, do they still have good marijuana? I don't know. Is there still any good God's herb and God's cocaine leaves around? That, you know, I mean, these people are like, they hate themselves that much. Well, here's a good drug. Okay. Do the good drugs. Does it make you feel a little better? All right. You're know, like, do the good drug. And, like, you know, get you off your shit. And if you love yourself, you you wouldn't have to do drugs. But to feel better is what uh, a person wants. Why not help them out? And you just give them nutritious foods to make them feel better. To make them feel great. You know, fire him up with uh, the best nutrition. But I, you know, I never had anything. My whole world pretty much sucked. And I hate my insane delusional abusers that I had in my life that just wouldn't stop attacking me. And my husband never stopped when he was alive. Was like, yeah. Oh my god. He targeted me. Yeah, I'm, I'm the craziest person on the planet that's delusional when he's the one who's fucking beating me up and, you know, hates himself so fucking much that he's beating me up. Hates himself so badly that he's beating me up. And he hates himself. I mean, you know, like, it's evident. It's really evident with all abusers I've ever met. Like, how can they not hate themselves when, when all they do is attack their victim whom they targeted? 
I'm gonna put you down every single day. Everybody I know is gonna know just how awful of a person you are. You're so delusional making up all these stories that I, I harmed you in any way when you were never harmed your entire life. Your entire life, you were never ever harmed you. You are delusional. You want people to feel sorry for you. Well, guess what? No one feels sorry for victims. No, I feel sorry for the Ohio people. I, I mean, the recent news that I see, I feel sorry for people. I guess most people do. Oh, okay, I live in hell. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I still have to do my research about my Jesus who I think died on the cross and his blood is pure because um, maybe that's the only way for this earth to be saved which, okay, is opposite of what people think it needs to be destroyed with all the fallen angel fucking aliens and, you know, all, all the hell I mean, my god, there's just way too much hell and I've experienced hell from all the insane, delusional abusers in my life who created their hell into me. They hate themselves. So then they go and throw that on me and made me want to die. That wasn't right. Hey, what, what, you know. But they get away with it. And I figured out they love them. They, they um, do not love themselves. I'm sorry. They believe in their delusional destruction. They believe in their delusions. So they they are that messed up that I, I mean they can't recall an event at all that happened in their past. You know they can't even like oh remember that happened in your childhood and it's just like. No, no, that never happened. Um, all right, I guess this is okay. Um, see, I'd like to edit this particular video, and it's like 17 minutes. It's probably like five minutes of high of quality. And but I repeat myself. Well, what the, what am I doing? You know, well, you live in hell, where insane delusional abusers repeat themselves all the time on their targeted victim and they will never stop and that's why earth is hell but you know just forget about that there's fallen angels in the demonic spiritual world and like what the hell man you know i mean you're surrounded by hell i mean you, you can't spiritual realm and then physical 3d people that are walking around are totally demon possessed and I have no idea what the fuck they're doing being completely blinded by all their demons they're, they're totally delusional and they are the worst people they are the craziest people on this planet they actually are able to destroy their victim and that's what I've experienced you know I shouldn't have went through all this hell I barely what like when did I ever you know have a holiday or enjoyed my life. Hmm. I mean, I mean, with my husband, I could bring him up because he's dead. Can't bring up any other abusers because, you know, I'm not allowed. I was never allowed. A, a victim's not allowed to bring up anything bad that happened to them because, oh well, my God, you know, the, the abuser will oh, counteract them. Go attack them even worse. They get attacked worse because because they said the truth and that's all i've experienced my whole life you know like the hell these monsters can't you know face the consequences can't you know take what they dish out they dish it out their hell on me they created hell into my life and they can't take it and that's reality